What's up guys, Dar Sizzle here. In today's video, we go offshore fishing and inshore fishing in the same day, and we catch a whole mess of fish. Check out this adventure, starting now. Good morning, Dar Sizzle Nation. Dar Sizzle's behind the camera right up for a minute. We're going out wahoo fishing this morning, and then if that doesn't work out, we're gonna do some plan Bs. But uh, just to show you real quick what we're putting out, I'm rigging up before we get out there, because it's a little choppy. Putting out a split tail mullet, which is everyone's favorite uh, wahoo bait and our famous uh, pink sea witch and a strip, which of course Darcy cut and uh, cleaned herself. So uh, heading out there right now, it's gonna be a little bumpy, so bear with us, let's catch some fish. the lines out guys we've been trolling an hour brian's been working his butt off while i drive we have to uh, someone has to stay at the wheel it's so rough out here today um, a little rougher than we anticipated no bites yet he had a hard time getting a mullet out and i wasn't didn't like how it was running and, you know like we tell you guys like i've told you before you know put your baits out and see how they run you know especially if it's a rigged ballyhoo or something just make sure it's running straight and not spinning yeah and the thing never start never i could never get it to go right so I rigged up a ballyhoo on a red and black islander. I'll show you guys that later, maybe a little tag of time if we actually catch anything. And then I got a pink sea witch out, that billy bait out straight and two chuggers on the sides. And uh, yeah, just a little choppy than we thought. It's supposed to lay down, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, but Woo! rough usually <laughs> means fish. Woo, that was a big old wave. <laughs> rough usually means fish bites and we just gotta see what happens. Yeah, when it's windy, that creates a surface current for the bait, like uh, flyers especially. And just like inshore, when you want current uh, to catch your snook and stuff, offshore, again, the wind creates a surface current, which gets the bait moving and gets the water oxygenated and gets the fish biting. So theoretically, it should be good. Hope you all aren't getting seasick. <laughs> Don't get seasick at home, ladies. Hooked up to the biggest fish in the world. Just kidding. We've been trolling for about five hours now. Had two short strikes on our bent butt rods. Who knows what that could have been, but they were definitely toothy critters and we are just sticking it out. We have a minor, major moon phase going on right now, looking at the fish angler app, so we figured we might as well troll through that. And we're gonna see what this fish is. This was our long line way back. The billy bait again. Fish love this thing. It's a mac. Are you kidding me? Pretty cool, I'll take that. Last time we were trolling the full moon, we caught that wahoo. There's mackerels around too, but that is a keeper, Spanish mac. We got dinner on the billy bait. Nice. Oh, wow. Ooh. I'm sorry guys that Dar Sizzle stinks at fishing so bad. I suck. <laughs> Brian did not want to go offshore, and I was like, we gotta go offshore, but we can. But it did not work. Yeah, it's, you know, it's our sizzle offshore, and we wanted to catch a wahoo today. It's been, the bite is in full moons tomorrow, so that's the time to go catch wahoo. And, uh, you know, the bigger the fish, the more hit and miss it is, particularly wahoo, over here on this side in Boynton and on the east coast of Florida. Yeah. So five hours of hard trolling with these baits right here, B-rolled and uh, pink sea witch that we always love. We put the last one on. Yep. But uh, now we came in shore. You know, it was a little, a little harrowing, but I just tilted the engine up, and so you get the bow up through those standing waves, and that's helped. Just a little captain tip for you guys. Darcy's gonna troll us up from Snook now, right? Yeah. We're gonna try to make this day count, get some nice fish into the boat. We'll see what happens. Yeah. And the awesome thing about Florida is, you know, you can try and catch a wahoo or a sailfish, and then come inside and catch a Snook on the same trip. Yeah, so. and then go to a freshwater lake and catch a bass. Yeah, we could do that. So, uh, catch him up, Sizzle. Make this video a video. Don't disappoint our fans. Getting to work. Get to work. Fish on, y'all. Finally got a fish. We have no current, but you can't catch fish if you aren't fishing or putting lures out. So it just depends on the situation out here. Really low tides. And when it's low like that, usually the snook are pushed out from structure that may be in shallow areas. So they would come out to deeper water. So that's why we are trolling, because you just never know. Oh boy. 
see what this guy is. Oh, it's a Jack. Our favorite. Jack Crevel on the orange belly lure. That's always slaying. Now we just need a snook. It's a total slay session today, so they'll straight slaying. Straight slaying. We did catch three species. If you guys are into species, and a lot of people are. Guys that catch bass all day long. <laughs> anyway, we got okay, three or four bonitas, a Jack Creval, and a nice Spanish Mac. So not, not terrible. That's fish. Not terrible. Not skunked. Didn't get skunked, exactly. And our good friend Chase, well, I don't want to say Chase, but a fellow charter captain friend said the fishing is horrible, so, and he catches a lot of wahoo. He's a wahoo slayer. Matter of fact, if you want to catch a wahoo in Boynton, real rival, look him up. He's the man. He's the man. Since the holidays are approaching, I just want to mention the fish hook and anchor bracelet, paracord bracelets that I hand tie myself. Adult and child sizes available. They are unisex guys. They fit anyone that wants to wear them. Also, don't forget about the sterling silver necklaces, stone crab necklaces, the calendars, all that good stuff is on the website, including the awesome keychains that I make. What's up, guys? I got a fish. Darcy's letting me reel it in. A snapper! It's a blue, blue fish. What do you guys call that? That's a snapper, right? I know we had this discussion. All right. All right, so doing pretty good today, actually. Not, didn't get a wahoo, but we got jacks and bonitas for bait and bluefish and Spanish max. Oh, came right off. Nice. In, into the bucket he goes. Let's catch some more. Fish on the deep diver. Nice. And it's starting to get a little clearer out here. It honestly now feels like a summer day. It's pretty hot today. And last week it was freezing. Oh no, it's not as big as I thought it was because these jacks fight so hard for their size. But ate a big old rapala that dives deep in the water. Fish on again. That jack just came off. And then this one just got hooked up. Feels like another nice fish. Probably is a jack. It's always a fun fight catching jacks. It's a great thing to do with your family. Even if you're an inexperienced fisherman, anyone can catch these things. They're so much fun. Get your kids to bread some rods and make some memories with your family. It's coming in. Didn't get our wahoo, but catching plenty of jacks and bluefish. This guy choked that lure. Woo! Nice one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We are getting into the fish now. It's only just begun. Nice job, though. Susan. Yeah, you know, on, on a little bit of a crappy day or just on a little booze cruise with your family or a picnic day, you know, troll some lures running in a coastal. You know, you see us do it all the time and, you know, you just catch fish. It doesn't have to be big or small or whatever. Who cares? And, you know, she throws those Uziri 3DS minnows and that little Rapala. Almost anything works. It's, it's not like brain surgery. So get out there and fish. Right, Joe Sizzle? That's right. Do it. <laughs> Gosh, this is non-stop. This is insane. I can't even get another lure rigged or like work on anything because keep lines keep going off. Woo! This feels like something nice. Unless he got side hooked. It just feels nice and heavy and my rod is doubled over, but sometimes with these treble hooks on these lures, they get side hooked on their body by accident and that'll make them come in sideways, so it'll make it feel like a big fish. We're just gonna have to see. Follow your fish. It's coming in now. I think he was side hooked and it came undone. I was right, mistaken at first, but I was totally right, this guy was side hooked. Ate my other lure, the big lure, big orange belly lure. That's the Yozuri 3DS and the other one's the Rapala that they've been chewing. T tons of jacks, tons of jacks. I'll let this guy go for good measure. Fish on. Let's see if I can rip this one in. This lure is absolutely killing it. I'm just gonna have to buy like five more of these things and have them all out. It's crazy. Beautiful December day here in Florida. Living our blessed life. And I definitely haven't been in the sun in like the last two weeks, just been stuck inside doing orders and stuff. And don't worry guys, orders are going out. Don't worry about that. Everything will be delivered before Christmas, of course. But I have lost my tan by like five shades. I'm definitely not as tan as I used to be. Another Jack. 
So this is the bluefish hole, but this seems to be a Jack Craval hole today. Not complaining, because we're bending rods and catching a ton of fish. Hang Jiggle. on. Hang on. Hurry, come on. Brian. Quit fooling around with those fish. You catch it. No, I'm too tired. See, I'm trying to get the other line out that catches fish, too. There's no tired in fishing. <laughs> Just saying. What did I have you for? They don't want to see me fish. Get in here. Oof. Another Craval. Craval slay session. Whoop, whoop. All right, this is a nice job today. We turned uh, a little bit of a lemonade. No, we turned lemon into lemonade. Exactly. <laughs> Great day on the water, bending rods. Also, we caught this fish not on camera. I have no idea what it is. Maybe you guys know. Go ahead and share with us because I it looks like a barracuda, but it's not. Yeah, and I've caught it? these before, so it goes to show you that I don't know everything like anybody else. Yeah, but oh boy, a work boat just slowed down to check us out because we're filming. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we got a cooler full of fish for bait and a couple of, and a Spanish mac for dinner and some bluefish. So yeah. Awesome. Great amount of fish. Can't complain. Beautiful day on the water. It is literally like a beautiful summer day here in December. And full bikini. Yes. Yeah, nice. I'm happy too. <laughs> Started out a little gray. Yeah. But, uh, so let's, let's wrap it up, Sizzle. Until yeah. next time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on catching. catching.